A new voluntary set of guidelines governing the use of surveillance cameras comes into force today. It covers cameras operated by public authorities in England and Wales, but the campaign group Big Brother Watch says the code should apply to all CCTV cameras. The cameras are all around us. We're said to be one of the most watched countries in the world. The new guidelines say the principle of surveillance by consent should be at the heart of their use. The public should be confident the cameras are there to protect us, not to spy on us. They can be very helpful in solving crime. Take, for instance, the case of 16-year-old Ben Morutari, stabbed to death after being attacked by a gang outside a club in Smethwick. The police trawled through hours of CCTV to build the case against his attackers. The FBI helped enhance the grainy shots of the moment Ben was surrounded by the gang and attacked by one of them, Andy Lai. He admitted manslaughter. But the campaign group Big Brother Watch says the new code only applies to a fraction of the total number of cameras. Public authorities will have to pay attention to the code, but private organisations and individuals won't. So I think where we need to really assess if the system is working is whether the commissioner can influence those people who are not directly covered by the code. The code says that just because the cameras can be used doesn't mean they should be. Hertfordshire police, for example, have been told to think again about using a set of cameras that record the number plate of every car going into and out of the town of Royston. Local people call it the Ring of Steel. The Information Commissioner said the use of cameras like this had to be proportionate and had to be justified. Andy Moore, BBC News. And it's not every